Greetings all, it's Max, and we're back, and today we are going to talk about the Encounter television series. What did I think about it overall? Eh, 8 out of 10 for a television series. It was actually shot a lot better than um, the Encounter Paradise Lost. Um, the acting was very solid in every episode. I did not enjoy every episode um, as I did the original Encounter, but that's because of my own personal thing, and we'll get into that as we talk about individual episodes. The whole thing stars Bruce Amaracciano, and I'm always going to do that. And if Bruce ever watch, he's going to call me up and say, no, it's Marciano, not Marcia. He stars as uh, Jesus. Plays the same guy, it's the same guy as the original Encounter. And there are eight episodes. I think they are actually doing another season. I'm not positive on that. Um, IMDb seems to indicate that they are doing another season. Well, let's talk about the ones that are out there. This came out a couple of years ago. My computer screen is way back there, and I'm trying to trying to read it so I can keep these in order. I watched these the other day. I sort of binged watched all of them, and I want to do this to keep it fresh. Oh, and you're wondering about the hat. Well, see, I don't have anything behind me, right? I don't have any fun stuff on my wall at all because I'm a poor man. I, I can't afford stuff on my wall, so I thought I would wear a funny hat. Right? Right. So, here we go. Episode number one is called The Heist, and then I'll try and read them off the computer um, so I give you the, the names of the actual episodes. The Heist, the first episode, it is about two brothers who decide to knock over a gas station, and they're trying to get the credit card data. They don't really care about the cash, um, and they hire. They have a loose gun with them, who's like just some thug. One of them's girlfriend is there to go bump off this gas station, and the person who is running the gas station is, of course, Jesus. That is the first episode. Now these are going to go very quick. I've already actually done all of these reviews, but because I had a hair sticking up my beard like this, and I was too close to the camera, like that. Um, I gotta redo it. And I can't spoil anything, so they're like a minute review or something like that. So that's what it is. You got a guy who's a, a fairly good natured guy who gets pressured into doing things by his brother all the time. And Jesus is there to, to deal with them. And that is the first episode. Like I said, there's not much to, to really talk about in these. Um, just the basic synopsis of it. I. That episode, I probably would give a 9 out of 10. It's pretty good. Um, episode 2. Episode 2, I believe, is called U-Turn. Yes, it is. U-Turn, I did not like. Um, not because it was bad. Not because it was a bad show. It was just did not apply to me. Um, and I didn't understand why Jesus cared so much that this person um, is leaving town. Like, <coughs> the... The whole setup for the story is this woman comes back to her town and, because her father dies and she's having problems with her mother because she left town. And Jesus tries to keep her back in town. That's kind of the whole thing. And I'm like, I, I don't get it. All right, whatever. And I can already tell that my camera is a little bit off of balance. So we get to have a Dutch angle for this. All right, I already did it once before, so I'm not gonna fix it now. We're gonna have a Dutch angle. Anyone who doesn't know what that means, it's when you tilt the screen. Um, the acting overall was really good. I like the guy, um, there's a guy in there who plays uh, the bad guy. It's really good. And, but overall, nothing much happens in that episode. And, some people may really like it, really appreciate it. It's not something that spoke to me in my heart. To me, it was just like watching an, another television show. Now, now I have to go and look. What's the next one? I really did enjoy this one. I can't read the actual um, title of it, but it stars an aging movie star who is sort of mad that she can't get roles anymore. And Jesus is the gardener. 
and one of the first scenes, I'm not going to spoil anything with this, one of the first scenes is her getting mad at her agent and insulting all of the Mexican people that are working in her, in her yard. And one of those guys turns around and it's Jesus looking at her. And that's how the whole thing kind of starts. She actually has a conscience and actually felt bad about that later. It was very good. It was Morgan Fairchild is in this one. She's the superstar Hollywood actress. And of course we have Bruce Maracciano. Bruce Marshall. And that's what the entire thing is about. Is dealing with this person. And reflecting on their life. So yeah. Then we have episode number four. Which isn't up on my screen. But I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the one where. You've got. I think this one's directed by David A.R. White. Um, you've got a little girl or not really a little girl, teenager, who is in a DWI accident and is actually like dead on the table. And Jesus is one of the doctors who's in there. Dealing with the doctor who does not, or fallen away, I think he did believe, it says there in there, but he fell away. And because of all of the death, he's an ER trauma physician. Because of all the death that he's seen, his faith is is kind of broken and he's not passing it off to his children and his wife and his wife and his child pray for him and Jesus comes in and, and helps him out. That's episode number four. Now I'm going to have to get up and actually look and see what episode number five is. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I can Maybe I'll cut that out with my editing software. Maybe, maybe not. All right, episode um, five, I didn't really care for. Um, episode four, I you know, eight out of ten, probably. Episode five, we go into, these are two young kids who are running off to elope in Las Vegas. That's what it is. And they run into a storm, and to get out of the rain, they go in, and the, of course, diner is going to be Jesus' diner. And he's basically doing marriage counseling. These are one of these things that is um, more of like a marriage counseling thing. Anybody who has gone to seminary or doing Bible school, that's actually part of your schooling is marriage counseling. And I thought that the whole episode was basically a marriage counseling episode as opposed to really Jesus being Jesus. I didn't like it. Out of the two, out of the eight, I did not like two. I did not like the U-turn one where the lady is trying to get out of, out of her place, out of town, and I did not like this one. The acting was really good for the young people. The acting all around. It even had the Sandman in it, man. The Sandman, Spider-Man Three had the Sandman. He played the father of the of the girl getting married, and it was good. It was a good story and good to listen to them. But as far as like spiritual edification and stuff like that. It, it could have just been a show. It didn't necessarily need to be Jesus. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I've, I've watched it twice. Meh. It, it could have just been... It didn't have to be anything to do with Jesus. It could have just been some guy in a diner. Um, the only thing different was that he offered really good advice. I didn't, I didn't like that. But, you know, like I said... It's not a situation that I'm in. Um, same thing with the U-turn one. So it doesn't personally strike my heart at all. It's good. I don't mind watching it. But I can't be like, this is the, the most fantastic thing ever. Okay. Now, we're going to go on to episode number six. And of course, because I did this before, what do we have? And I'll have to go check it. I'll go check it. I'm going to cut it. Oh yeah, that's right. Number six. Number six is my favorite one in the entire television series. Number six. Number six is about, it starts out with a family all playing on their computer games and the Facebook and the husband is doing a conference call 
and the wife is cooking dinner and she's like, Lord, please just one night. And the power goes out. Nobody's got nothing. And the guy who shows up to fix everything, of course, is Jesus. From the something power company? I don't know. They made a they made kind of a funny about it, but all-knowing power company? I don't remember what it was. But anyways, of course it is. And Jesus, as he's walking around, pretending to fix the power, he's also talking to each member of the family and getting them together. And like I said, I can't spoil I can't spoil these things, but one of the biggest things that irritates me is if I'm actually meeting someone out for lunch or something like that and I'm having I'm talking to them and then their phone dings and as I'm speaking or making a point they whip up their phone like the, the phone is just way more important than me that's irritating so I really did like episode number six and we're gonna do episode number seven um, again I have to get up and look at it oh man Brian Bosworth Okay, all right. Episode number seven is about family in a marriage crisis. And uh, Brian Bosworth, football player, he plays in a lot of these Pure Flicks things also. Used to be a football player. Uh, he does a really good job. Like I said, acting top notch all around from everybody. This is about two people are going through sort of a separation and the wife decided that they needed to have supervised visits at the park. So they have a, you know, a court chaperone or something like this. And who ends up showing up is Jesus is the court chaperone. And that's what it is all about. Even the little, I mean, this is the, the big thing that gets me is the little kids that play in, in these shows are actually quite good. Why can't they get these kids for these big budget movies? Kids that can act a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I can't, I can't go it too far into this episode because it will spoil it. So, just so you know, it's good. People that have marriage problems with kids and stuff like that. Yeah, the last episode I don't even need to get up and go look at. It. It's called Maximum Mike. And it has Michael Irons on who is the judge, who is Maximum Mike. Maximum Mike is called that because he gives everybody the maximum sentence that he possibly can. Because when he was a court clerk, he watched many, many people just get away with nothing. Just get away. People that do these horrendous crimes and they get off on technicalities. And he said to himself, if I'm ever a judge, I will make sure that those people are punished. So he goes through all this thing, and I forget what the character's name is who he's sentencing, but it was a first-time offense, and he gave him like 10 years in prison or something. And because of that, Jesus comes in, because the guy's the saved guy, and be is his advocate. I don't want to spoil it, okay? Essentially, Maximum Mike gets put under the law of Jesus and he has to defend himself. That's the last episode. Many consider that to be the best episode in this series. Eh, well, eh, yeah, maybe. It's not bad. I thought it was good. I mean, everyone loves Mike Lionside. What can you say? What can you say? So there you have it, my review of the Encounter television series. Next one is going to be Revelation Road, or somebody asked me to do Lee Strobel's um, The Case for Christ. The Case for Christ is a documentary, and I haven't actually watched the documentary. And doing commentary on a documentary, I don't know. I'm, I'll, I'll take a look at it and watch it. I may or may not review it. But if you want to hear about The Case for Christ on my channel, just search for Lee Strobel. L E E. S-T-R-O-B-E-L. Search for that guy. The Case for Christ is his presentation that's up on my channel. The guy's not a dirtbag. He's not trying to give me copyright strikes because I have his stuff. 
Lee Strobel is a uh, atheist reporter. I think he was a sports reporter or something like that who came to Christ. So that's what's going on with that. And um, I'll try and get something maybe in the background for people to look at instead of my, my dumb head. But there you have it. Um, and we're going to come out with the Honey Buns update very soon too. Like I said, Revelation Road is probably going to be the next one. That stars David A.R. White and his family. Also has Kevin Sorbo in it. A lot of good actors. Very good stuff. With that, we're out here.